Ruben. Let's see, last name. I'm sorry. Ruben Duarte. Duarte. Ruben Duarte. Uh, they they kept saying Ruben's going to come over. They didn't give me a last name. And so you work for Field Peace. I've worked for Field Peace. I've actually been with Field Peace for Step up over, a little bit closer uh, to the mic. Been with Field Peace for a little over 20 years, believe it or not. Oh, wow. Okay. Most of my career. So So are you outside sales for them or do you? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. I manage the, uh, the Western Seven States okay. along with a team of four other guys. So. Field Peace has a, a huge array of tools. I mean, if you're in the industry and you're not using Field Peace, I don't know what you're using because uh, I use Field Peace almost every day when I'm out in the field. Um, uh, my probably my favorite uh, uh, tools is the Job Link stuff because with Job Link, I can actually, you know, log on. I can go to the other side of the home. I can go to the other side of the building, and they usually keep. They don't drop. They're really good equipment. Really good. Really good uh, signal. And I get on off. Now, when I teach classes, I use JobLink. I don't know how many, what's the limit that can log on? Because I'll have 20 students looking at the same data I got coming out. My, my I don't think there is a limit in that, in that kind of like teaching respect. And what you mean is how many phones can connect to a yeah. set of tools, right? So a lot of trainers, they'll have one set of, they'll have one set of JobLink tools. And they'll have a classroom with 20 guys all using their phones, whether Android or, or uh, Apple. Okay. Um, looking at the same test tools. Right. So if he's doing demonstrations or um, for those purposes, no, I don't think there is a limit. Or if there is, I haven't, I haven't heard of one yet. So you brought some stuff here. What do we got? What we have here are the new field piece hoses. Okay. Okay. So like you said, field piece has been making tools for a really long time. So they never made hoses before though, right? We've never made hoses. We uh, we started making manifolds over a decade ago. We've been making vacuum pumps and recovery machines for a long time. Uh -huh. So technicians have been asking us for hoses for a while now. Okay. You know, before we release products, we like to have something innovative and it's kind of hard to innovate on hoses because they're more of a mechanical uh, item, right? Right. Um, but anyhow, we have released hoses this summer. Um, we have a whole array of them. We have traditional open hoses. We have uh, ball valve hoses. And we have low loss hoses. Low loss, yeah. Okay. Um, what makes these a little special is we went with a quadruple crimp. We looked at what was out in the field. We asked technicians, you know, what are, what are things that you like and don't like it. We heard a lot was that they seem to leak right here where the crimp is right. and everybody else goes with a single crimp so we developed it with a triple crimp which gives you two extra layers you know if one of the crimp leaks it gives you a little extra uh, right. leak protection there so are these vacuum rated they are vacuum rated down to 20 microns okay okay um we have these dedicated vacuum hoses that are 3 8 inch uh, diameter yeah but they are all rated down to 20 microns so you can definitely pull a vacuum with these Charging hoses. And so they're all A2L relate, rated too now too for the They're all tested for A2L gases. Uh -huh. um, a bunch of our products are. These hoses, you know, you got the triple cramp. We went with the medium knurling. So when we asked technicians, you know, some of them said the knurling out there wasn't uh, strong, uh, deep enough. Deep so your gloves would, would slip with the oil, right? So we went with the deeper knurling. Super flexible. They're you know way more flexible than any other hoses that are out in the market. So it's right. good for storage or getting into tight spaces. And as you can see, they're all black. Yes, with these that was an ask that you know. I mean, uh, it used to be back in the day, Linux uh, when they build their units, they built their all their wires were black. They just put numbers on. Them. So I'd always have to ask the guys when they went out to check the Linux unit, did you check the black wire? So it's a, you're supposed to laugh, but don't worry. Um, <laughs> But well, you made you know, them all black. There are some technicians that say I can tell the difference on my hoses, but there's some that can't, right? So a lot of manufacturers make yellow, blue, and red hoses right. for a reason. So the idea here is if you have a yellow hose and your yellow hose does spring a leak, you don't got to go find a yellow hose. You just pull a black hose off of your stock and you switch out these color tags here. These are removable, right? So that makes things easier for the contractor. He doesn't have to leave the job site to go to the supply house to get hoses. It makes it easier for the supply house because they can just stock black hoses. Uh, it makes their inventory a lot easier, right? Mm -hmm. So it makes things easier uh, up and down that chain there. Some guys like to have hoses for certain gases and others, so you can identify that with these tags, right? right? You can double tag them. We we're gonna have different color tags, like pink for R410A, red and gray for A2Ls. Mm -hmm. So guys can really ID what they're working with. Right, so you don't have to buy a whole set of 
colored hoses. You can just buy one more black hose and you're good to go. Right, but, because all your hoses don't leak at the same time. You know, if you're two, three years in and something happened to a hose. Yeah. So what lengths do these come in? We went with the standard five foot length. Okay. Um, most company, uh, guys out there make five and six foot. When we pulled the market, most guys wanted the five foot. We also have the extensions, eight inch extension connections right. with the valve or open. All the hoses are also available in 5 16ths for mini split systems. Right. Okay, so these are the quarter inch ones. Right. Um, and we also have the connectors for 5 16 So for if you want to use these hoses with you the You can mini use split. that with them. Yeah, the mini right. split there. And yeah. we have 45 degree one that I, uh, I don't have with me right now, but yeah. that helps guys be real flexible and uh, basically get any job done. So. Right. So uh, anything that you can give advice for people for taking care of their hoses, like do that how often should they replace the gaskets you know it's difficult because it has to do with use right and uh, conditions we do sell gaskets and it's basically you know when you start to see any cracks or any kind of brittle brittleness switch them out, switch right? it out they're right. inexpensive they're really easy to switch out same same with the depressor um same thing yeah. you know uh, they don't wear at the same time a lot of times your depressor can last a lot longer than the right. rubber you know, they are designed to be hand tightened. We tell guys, make sure you don't use a uh, wrench to tighten them down. Don't you know, hand down tighten them, you should be all right. Yeah. That's why you have the gasket, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And guys, you know, they, they match perfectly with your uh, fuel piece products. On the vacuum hoses, we did go with a quadruple crimp, which gives you even more seal protection. Uh, we have the connectors that go 3 8 to 3 8 and 3 8 to 1 quarter. quarter if you're hooking right. up directly to the system, yeah. right? So always, always when you're using the hoses, remove the Schraders. Take the Schraders out. If you don't remove the core, it's going to take a lot longer to pull a vacuum because you got to pull it through the core, and that's not a very big opening. Um, on your ball valves, are those vacuum rated? They are also vacuum rated down to 20 microns. Okay. Correct. Okay. So some of the some of the off brands and stuff that you can buy, some of that Chinese crud that you can buy on the market, it's not vacuum rated. Use those, and you wonder why you're not getting a good vacuum. Nine out of ten times. A lot of it is. A lot out. of it is not vacuum rated. Yeah. We get calls because we sell vacuum pumps, vacuum gauges, and we get calls sometimes. And we, we, there's a lot to check when there's something wrong with your vacuum. It could be the pump, it could be your fittings, your hoses, your gauges, uh, your system. So, so uh, and so they can buy these. These at the warehouses right now, or you can buy them online. They're at available at all major HVAC supply houses. Right. They can they buy directly from you guys or no? We do not sell direct to the end user. We only sell through distribution. Um, I've met a ton of guys that have been using them for the last three, four months. They rave about them. They're asking where to get the accessories. They're happy that their hoses match their tools, right? They want to have fuel piece uh, hoses with their fuel piece manifolds right. and their fuel piece vacuum yeah. pumps. Instead, they have to buy a separate set of hoses. Not, not yeah, no so longer. Now, now you match and you look good and it's you know you can expect the quality that you get from fuel piece. So. Okay. So uh, on the when you, you ship usually three or you sell them individually, right? We sell them in three packs. We sell them in an assortment of packs and individually. individually. Right. We okay. do sell individual hoses. Right. We do sell three packs. We sell some with two ball valves and a low loss, two low losses and a ball valve. And you buy these separately, though? The color tags are sold separately. We're going to be coming out with more color so you guys can personalize. Oh, really? Uh, you can test how strong those things stay on there. I've had the question, you know, are they going to fall off? Are they going to slip off? They're on there super tight. Ah, that's tight. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to pop off very easily. Mm -hmm. But I always tell my guys. Unit doesn't know what color hose is on it, so I don't care what color hoses I got. I don't. I know the right hose and the right one. Because and the reason you do this is is newbies in the field when they're when they have hoses, they they use the colors a lot uh, because they make mistakes, hook up wrong, and actually cause problems. So color coding is good. You know, it's a tiny mistake. It costs you a lot of time and money, right? So yeah. uh, we obviously want to minimize that kind of stuff. Okay, Ruben, thank you for coming, man. Do you have anything else you wanted to add? Mitch, that's it for today. You know, um, if you guys have questions, go to the Fuel Piece website. We're on YouTube. We're on Instagram. All social media channels where you can reach out directly. Great. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks for coming into the booth. Uh, we'll see who we got next. Introducing Fuel Piece's new hoses and fittings. Perfect for all your charging, recovery, 
and evacuation needs. Here's what makes them stand out. Premium black hoses that feature a tight bend radius and provide good grip. They're easy to work with, even with oily hands. Our hoses are designed with four layer construction for durability and A2L compatibility. Their neoprene gaskets provide a strong seal, resistant to even the most aggressive lubricants and temperature changes. Our full ring triple crimp design ensures the hose can still maintain pressure even if a crimp fails. Brass knurling is deep yet comfortable for everyday use. Say goodbye to chewed up fingertips, even in wet or oily conditions. Our innovative color tag system makes hoses easily identifiable and can be transferred to any other field piece replacement hose when needed. Our lineup features low loss, open, ball valve, and vacuum hoses in a variety of combinations, plus hose extensions and adapters to fit your job's needs. Get yours today at fieldpiece.com.